Okay, guys, I'm uh, not a hamster, okay? I don't get on treadmills and I don't have squeaky shoes, okay? It's not what Paradise does, but Paradise does know a little bit about the arm wrestling game, and we're gonna try to educate a little Kale over here. Uh, we're out and about, we're doing it up, and he just dropped it. We got the trolls going, it's really nice. Um, but let's talk a little bit about enunciating and pronouncing. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes those words are hard to say now, aren't they? Well, Uncle Kel does it the best, so thank you, Kel. Um, turn my comments back on. But it is Devon Lorat, bruh. Okay? He is known as the Rat. And if you guys haven't followed him, uh, Devon is a man, dude. Like, he is the man. Uh, and, yeah, you watch it for the conflict. Chell's not wrong there, Okay? Uncle Kel's not wrong, um, and resolution. Yes, that's it. that is exactly why the courtroom dramas work, because you have a conflict, and then you have resolution of said conflict. And whether you agree or disagree, it's over. You, you walk to the center of the mat, you shake hands, and you live to, to wrestle another day, or whatever the saying would go. Now, I am a little distracted because I've got Buddy with me and, you know, he's wandering around. There's other dogs. Um, but you guys might r recognize where I'm at. Uh, we're going to end up seeing O'Kell. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to ask him to his face, like, where, why is he blocking my comments, bro? Like, don't do that. That ain't fun. Like, we're having fun here. You're the mark. Let's do this, dude. So, Devon Lerat, other than his name being kind of funny, he walks around like he has wet hands all the time. Like he, he just like, imagine the look that you have where you're just like have wet hands, you know, like after you just like wash them and you're flicking, you're kind of doing the flicking motion. It's a little flick. You do the flick motion. I got to get this leash right. Uh, you do the flick motion, right? You do the flick motion to get the, the water off your hands. Well, that's exactly what Devon Larat looks like every single time. Now he's a Canadian. Like, let's not get confused. He's not American. He is Canadian, but that's okay, eh? Um, and he's the man, dude. And when it comes to arm wrestling, there is a strategy. There's absolutely a strategy. One of them is to walk to the table like you just washed your hands getting ready for battle and they're dripping wet just oozing with testosterone and just they're they're doing it they're just like Ugh. but Devin Lara is awesome and the Georgian is too but this is where Lara will have I personally think an advantage okay um, he is known to wear people and yes it is a race to five Uncle Kel Jeez, are, is this your first day or what, bro? Like, come on. Do you know arm wrestling or not? Like, even a little bit, even just a tensy wincy little itty bitty bit, then you would know, okay, that there's five pulls, okay? Race to five, and the other could concede, but the first pull, it, dude, let, Devon will usually go and let you have the first one. Now think about it. If you really think about why he's doing this, why would he let you have the first one? Okay, come on, guys. We're in this together, and we're gonna get we're gonna get to all of it together. But I'm talking to you guys, the the few who are listening, which will grow to many. It's a work in progress, and anything, you know, like any kind of job, you just gotta put in the time. You put in some time, and you'll get there. And that is exactly what Devon Lara is thinking. He wants to feel the power. He wants you to kind of think he's a little weaker and he wants you to get a little tired, which when Mr. O2 over there, the Georgian, you know, breathing heavy, he can barely walk through the table, but he is a big old man. Um, but he does need some air sometimes and it's gonna be a big, it's gonna be a big battle. It's gonna be a, a really big one. Uh, Devon really took the loss uh, when he was injured really heavily like it, it weighed heavy on his heart almost as much as kale's 
veins in his neck weighs on my mind. I wake up in the middle of the night, sometimes thinking about it, wondering about his health, wondering if I should race over to Westland just to make sure that he is actually on the appropriate diet. I mean, he's done a lot of diets, he's very knowledgeable, but I'm not too sure if he actually knows or not. Um, you know, so maybe, maybe it's gonna require a visit, but until then, we'll just try to reach out to him here. We'll try to catch him in Vegas, but it is a show. If you haven't watched the arm wrestling, it is a show. It's so fun. It's so fun to watch these guys because it's all this ball of like emotions. I mean, they almost look like they're going to cry and or kiss one another when they're at the table. And then the best part is when they, they cheat and they kind of like over the top and they slip the slip. Ah, oh, you've seen, you remember the, the, the movie back in the day with Sylvester Salons, 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 Salon Celesters. Um, what was it? It was something like all the way to the top or it was like under the table or like, I don't know, I'm going to kick you under the table or to the top. It's something like to the top, the top, top, top pull, top pull. It's like top gun, but top pull. So, uh, it was top pull and they, when they bring out the straps, bro, they bring out the straps are like, oh, they strap them in. It's like, just like the leash around there. And they, he's like, Rawr. and he's in the truck. He's always doing the little motions, but you know, of course, uncle Kale is interested in this. He's, he's interested in all things where two guys kind of get really close to one another, you know, and sweat a little bit and, and, and that's what he's into. And unfortunately, I guess that's sort of what we're into because we're all here or you're here because it's just strictly that you like paradise. Um, so tune in to the Devin LaRotte. Uh, that's on 420, guys. Uh, he's pushing it. Now, he had a little statement at the end, okay? This is, this is classic Kel, okay? Classic Kel. I'm talking with like no dressing whatsoever um just just classic you know just just the just the normal old classic kale that you would expect and he tells you he rounds it back up he, he brings you back to the beginning like hey why and how did we start this you know like what is it what were we talking about and because i know that we got off track but we're circling it back uh and i don't care about fixing my shoes today uh, I'll, I'll fix them a little bit. So I, I wonder, I bet you he probably had socks over his shoes today to, to minimize the squeaking. So that's really what we're, we're needing from him is a picture of his socks over his shoes because I know that it was weighing heavy on his mind of everyone mentioning uh, how many times he uses little thumbsies you know, he uses the thumbs to, to, I can't, like, <laughs> Kel, buddy, you don't have to fix the glasses anymore, okay? These ones, they stay right where I want them. Uh, they never slide down. It's because I heated the sides and I curled the back. They do that, bro. They do that for you for free. Like, you don't even have to pay for it, okay? All you got to do is buy the glasses and then they'll custom fit them to your little noggin or in your case <laughs> got a pretty big dome on you bro uh so but he, he, he circled it back just like i'm circling it back right now we're circling it back so he started with it and what what is what's most important and what's going on and why is this the first pay-per-view he's talking about money man 